Lance, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for your patience. Hello, I'm here. Hello, you're talking about <coughs> LLM performance with Lang Change Auto Evaluator. That is you. That's right. Awesome. You can you share my screen? Yep, here you go. All righty, thank you. Thank well, you. thanks for having me and really enjoyed the talks today. I'll talk a bit about Langchain, which is a framework uh, for building language, language model applications. Um, and one of the popular paradigms here is retrieval augmented LLMs. <clears throat> so this is where we want to retrieve documents from some source, put them in the working memory of an LLM and produce answers. So Langchain has integrations kind of across this kind of flow here. Um, over 80 integrations for document loading, over 30 integrations for storage, different vector stores, over 30 for retrieval, and over 40 different LLMs. And I'll walk you through kind of how you can use it to build an application and evaluate it with some of our tools. <clears throat> so let's take an application where we want to build a chat app from a set of YouTube URLs. Um, now we can actually get uh, the documents or text from a set of URLs in really only um, three or four lines of code using one of our document loaders. I show this here um, and I'll provide slides and links later so you can dig into this yourself, but it's very easy to go from any list of YouTube URLs or playlists to set of documents. And when you have this, you're kind of confronted with this challenge. Like how do you set these parameters? There's split size or split overlaps, split method, retrievers, different language models. And so we actually have an application for this called the Auto Evaluator, which is free to use hosted application. And it's also open source where you can input your documents of choice and you can input your settings and it'll evaluate it for you against a test set you provide or an auto-generated test set of question answer pairs you expect from your documents. So this kind of shows you what it looks like. I share the link down there, uh, but it has, user settings on the side, so it's kind of a playground environment. You can select all sorts of different settings, um, you know, different chunk sizes, different models, different retriever methods, um, different numbers of docs to retrieve. Again, you can see, you can actually just upload your documents of interest. You can upload an eval set, run a bunch of experiments. And in this nice UI, you can see down here, it logs your experiments. You probably can't see the details of this particular run, but that's okay. It's showing you the big idea. That is a nice little playground where you can upload any documents and quickly evaluate different chain parameters. And behind the scenes, Langchain will build a chain for you and evaluate it. <clears throat> and so this is we this is for our example application. We took all the lectures from Karpathy's recent uh, LLM course. Uh, we input it into our app. We test a bunch of different settings. So here I test, let's say I want to try different chunk sizes, different LLMs to synthesize answers. And you can kind of see in the visualization, it shows you you know, which setting gave you better quality versus latency. So you can kind of, you can see here in this particular case, smaller chunks were a little bit better. You can see open source models like Vicuna did lag GPT-3.5 and 4 a little bit in this case. Also in this case, GPT-4 and 3.5 performed about the same. But in any case, this is just showing generally how to use this application for really any, um, any question answer application you'd, you'd want to build. Um, so again, use auto evaluator to kind of select your settings in a no code manner, very easy. And then we provide some nice templates. Uh, Langchain works very nicely with, for example, fast API. You can set up a streaming backend, connect that to any front end framework you like, for example, for cell, the app is here shown and this is kind of it running. And so it'll stream answers. So Langchain is powering all this. Um, and again, we kind of use the auto evaluator itself to kind of choose our best settings before we went and implemented them. Since building your vector DB is kind of costly, it's nice to just sanity check things before you go to all the effort of building the full vector DB. Um, and I'll, I'll share a few other learnings that we've had with this auto evaluator app. So this slide's a little bit busy, but the main thing I'm trying to communicate is like there's lots of different ways to approach a retrieval question in these retrieval augmented generation applications. But of course, there's kind of lexical, statistical search. Of course, there's semantic search, which many are very familiar with. There's also some kind of newer methods that use semantic search with metadata filtering. Um, the self query retriever is one very interesting one in Langchain, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and the thing, one other thing I'll highlight is some newer models with very large context sizes, like Anthropic's 100K model. You can actually stuff documents in together. Um, also, I want to highlight uh, post-processing, coheres, re-rank is a very interesting way to learn that. 
And so we've integrated a lot of these options with Auto Evaluator, and I'll just share a few like little insights. One thing I found very interesting is that Anthropic's 100K model is actually really good. Um, this is actually inputting the entire GPT-3 paper. It's a 75-page PDF. I have a test set of 15, or sorry, in this case, five questions, and it performs as well as 3.5 and GPT-4 with an independent vector store retriever. So again, this is taking that whole 75-page PDF, putting it into the working memory of the model, and just asking the model questions about it. So it's very impressive. Of course, it's slower, but it's an interesting thing to highlight. If you have like a single document use case, maybe you can get away with using one of these larger models, putting the entire document in. And don't worry about like building an independent vector DB. Um, another thing I'll highlight: open source models are very much worth considering. Um, Mosaic's MPT7B, for example, is quite fast. Um, kudos to them on the inference work there. I've seen very good results from Vacuna as well. It's we host on Replicate. You can play with both of these in Auto Evaluator, and it's very much worth considering these, particularly for retrieval augmented generation. You may not need a massive model. Some of these smaller open source models. Uh, could can be sufficient. Um, and the final thing I'll, I'll wrap with metadata filtering is like a very interesting topic. Um, we have an application that's linked here. It's part of auto evaluator that you can test different metadata filtering schemes. It can be a little bit tricky. Like this is a case where I had an app uh, built for the entire uh, podcast um, of Lex Friedman. And if you want to ask a question, say, uh, what did Elon say in episode 252? I want to do a metadata filter for that. In some cases, um, your metadata is actually stored using a different format, which is not obvious. So in that case, something like a cell query retriever might fail. And things like other libraries like Core may be more useful. I provide a bunch of examples in the notes here. You can go, go into that in my slides. Um, but that provides an alternative, and we provide a nice way to kind of evaluate different metadata filtering schemes, which can be quite tricky, actually, because it's often hard to infer the metadata from the natural language query. Um, and maybe so in summary, uh, Langchain is kind of framework for building and evaluating LLM applications with many integrations, over 80 integrations for loading, 30 for storage and retrieval, uh, four different LLMs. We have tools for evaluation and prototyping. Um, we have app templates like Carbothy GPT that highlights how to stream applications with Langchain, uh, integrate with different front ends like Vercel. We have support for Python and, and uh, JavaScript. So uh, everything is free to use. Everything is open source. So, um, yep, that's probably about it. Uh, please reach out to me with any questions. And thanks for the opportunity to speak. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lance. I really appreciate it. And we'll send out the slides and uh, the recordings to everybody who's tuned in um, a little bit later. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank you. All right. All right. See you later.